<laughs> Guys, I haven't had too many uh, sexual adventures, you know? I've had one or two. I've had two. <laughs> Look, I've had plenty of boring relationship sex. I'm talking sexual adventures. So a little while ago, I went ser searching for a no-strings-attached sexual relationship. Because I'll be honest, I'm not good at the relationship part of relationships. I'm not great at the sex part either, but I'm a lot more interested in it, so. I joined Tinder and it didn't go well. I, uh, I met a woman, we hit it off, and then we started talking. Then after a while, we started dirty talking, right? And then she asked me, she said, hey, where's some of your kinks? Right, but I couldn't think of any. I didn't want to look like a loser though. So I said, oh, I'm too shy to say. I said, but where are some of your kinks? And I figured whatever she said, I'd be like, oh, what a coincidence, that's one of mine too. <laughs> but I said, where are some of your kinks? And she said, no, you're right, it's too early to talk about. It. So we just kept talking for a couple more days and eventually she asked me this. She said, Tom, what do you think is the sexiest female body part, right? And I know this, guys, I know this. The sexiest female body part, it's called the mons pubis, okay? <laughs> What that is, it's a little mound of flesh, like above and around the labia. Look, there are boob guys, there are butt guys. I'm a mons pubis man myself. <laughs> Proud of it. So I didn't hesitate. She said, what is the sexiest female body part? And I said, mons pubis. And then my phone changed mons pubis into mums pubis. <laughs> So she didn't answer right away, naturally. But I didn't realize my phone had changed it. So I just kept doubling down. I'm like, no doubt about it. <laughs> Drives me crazy, right? Then I said I could kiss it all night. I told her I could kiss mom's pubis all night. Now. Apparently, this woman had never heard the term mons pubis before, otherwise she would have figured it out. But this was her best guess. After about an hour and a half, she wrote me back and she said, Do you want me to pretend to be your mother? <laughs> she thought I was opening up and telling her what my kink was. But I didn't realize my phone had changed it, and it was an hour and a half later. So I thought she was starting a new conversation by saying, do you want me to pretend to be your mother? I thought she was telling me what her kink was. And I was like, oh, that's really weird, you know? I don't want to kink shame anybody. You shouldn't kink shame anybody. You don't have to go along with it either, but I guess I was eager to please because I was like, ooh, sounds like fun. <laughs> so, a couple of days later, we still haven't figured this out. I go over to this woman's place. Bless this woman. She answered the door in an apron. Where have you been? It is way past your curfew. <laughs> supposed to be here, you know? I tried to get into it. I'm like, oh, I was, out, I was out with my friends and we were Pokemoning and twitching and stuff. <laughs> she said, well, you have to do your chores before you go to bed. Get in here. She made me do her dishes. I did her dishes as foreplay. She, she didn't make me dinner. She already had dinner. I just did her dishes. And then after I was done, she turned to me. She goes, oh, you're all dirty now. You're a dirty boy, aren't you? And I said, yes, yes, I am a dirty boy. Keep in mind, neither of us are into this. We're just being two decent fucking human beings, okay? So she goes, oh, you're all dirty. We should give you a bath. I said, I don't want to take a bath there. And she said, get in the bathroom and get undressed right now. So I go in the bathroom, I start getting undressed, trying not to look at myself in the mirror for a variety of reasons. As I'm getting undressed, she walks in. She says, do you want me to get in the bathtub with you? And I thought, that sounds relatively normal. I said, yes, yes, I'd like that. And this is where things got kind of weird. <laughs> she said something that freaked me out. She turned to me, she started getting undressed, and she said, hey, do you want to see mum's pubis? <laughs> and 
I said, wait a minute, what'd you say? And she said, do you want to see Mum's pubis? And I said, what the hell is Mum's pubis? She said, you, you told me that's the sexiest female body part. I said, oh, oh, fuck. She said, watch your language, young man. I said, no, Mom's pubis, Mom's pubis. She said, what the hell is Mom's pubis? I said, you know, it's a little mound of flesh, like above and around the leg. I said, it's also called the Mound of Venus. She said, well, why didn't you just call it the Mound of Venus? Eh, you know, maybe my phone would have changed that into Pound of Penis. Then we'd be in an even weirder situation. Maybe we should have counted our blessings, eh, you know? She was bad though, guys. I, I was grounded for like a month. Thank you very much. For